Welcome back. Thanks for choosing Cruising Outdoors. What we're going to be doing today is featuring a video for you on how to properly dress this pheasant. That way you can store it, you can keep it in a Ziploc bag or your food saver bags and eat it when you're ready. So, we have these beautiful Minnesota pheasants here with wonderful different color schemes in there from peacocks to purples to reds, whites, and beautiful emeralds. Wonderful birds that we have here in Minnesota. So what we're gonna start, by the way, please, this video is designed for your youthful hunters who haven't done this before. So if you're with your 10, 11, 12 year old child, please watch this video with them and understand that these are animals to be respected. And um, I've said prayers before this video for the animals that I take and thank them for the meal that they're gonna give me. So here we are. What we're gonna wanna do is start with the feet. You're gonna wanna have just a traditional gardening shears. Okay, you're gonna start by going just above the bone right here and snipping. A helper or an assembly line if you have multiple birds is a great idea. All right, another snip, because what you're gonna wanna do is get through the bones and the tendons. Where this is gonna pay dividends is once we get the skin off, it's just gonna come right off of the bird. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take the neck off. So you're gonna get it as close to the bird as possible. Now, some people only breast out these animals and some of them keep the legs as well. We can go over that in a little bit. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get down as close as you can. Now, if you're gonna keep these, well, mostly people don't keep the arms, so we're gonna get it down there. I'm gonna have my helper get me with the knife. Bye bye wing. By the way, these are wonderful training tools for your dogs. Especially if you zip time to their dummy that you're throwing. Helps them get a little bit more accustomed to the scent that they're gonna be out in the field uh, going after. So, other than that, we've got all of the legs removed and we've got the wings removed. And so what we're gonna do now is just find a starting point. I like to get the skin and the skin pretty much just comes off. And you're gonna go around the bird. Usually helps if you have a garbage bag right next to you as well. Once I get inside of the bird, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna wanna be a little bit more cautious with how fast I'm doing this and my hand placement. The reason is these BBs can shatter their rib cage. And so when the rib bones are broken, they can poke you. So you just have to be a little bit careful with that. All the way down, all the way up. Thank you. And we are all the way down. to the tail. I'm gonna have my helper help me assist with the tail. Tail feathers tied to your dummy is also a great way to help with your dog. So now I've removed the skin and the feathers. Then you're just gonna make a simple incision right there, right under this breast. Cause what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna get my finger right here and I'm just gonna gently pull up. And this actually, it just goes really, really nice and easy. And then I'm gonna go on a top down scooping motion down. Now I'm not seeing any broken rib cages, but their they're spines on the back and that sometimes is broken as well. So I've got my heart here. And then I just grab as a whole the innards, take them down to the bottom. I get my finger in here and you don't need a knife for this. And then all of a sudden I've removed all of the bird's innards. Now, sometimes these lungs get stuck up here. This is a prime example. These are the lungs right here and these will stick to the rib cage. So you do have to go in and get those out. And they aren't that easy. They're a little bit slippery. They stick to the rib cage, <coughs> the backbone, excuse me. 
Now, I've got my innards out, and we're gonna go over to our hose. Go ahead and give it a good rinse down. Now, if you're just keeping the breast, you can go ahead and remove the esophagus and the neck bone. And I can show you how to do that in a minute. Sometimes these BBs, when they penetrate the muscles, they push some of, this, some of the feathers into the meat, and you can simply just grab them and pull them out. You want your bird as clean as possible for the storage. You definitely do not want any, any intestines or anything like that inside of the bird. It will spoil the meat over time. The skin came off easy. As you can see, there's still some yellow skin on there. What that is, is that's the fat. It comes off very, very easily. And then all of a sudden you have a beautiful bird given to us. And then we'll go ahead and enjoy this. Guys, it's, it's really quite that simple. Now, if you do want to get this out, what you'll do is you'll just stick your shears right here, clip, right here, clip. And all of a sudden you've released just the breast and you can put that into your Ziploc bag or your food storage bag. Guys, thank you so much. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please respect the animals that you're taking. Do it safely. And I hope that all of you have a wonderful day. And thanks again for tuning in to Cruising Outdoors.